a far less hectic pastime, but equally exciting to many people, is the ancient game of chess. So ancient, in fact, that its origins are lost in obscurity, its invention being attributed to a number of early civilizations in the Middle and Far East. Today, it is probably the most cosmopolitan of all games. However, as a game, it's already too well known to merit special attention. Our interest lies in the way it has been ingeniously adapted as part of a fantasy production of King Arthur by the Turner's Court School for Underprivileged Boys at Benson in Oxfordshire. The play does not pretend to be a historical reconstruction, hence the fantasy game of human chess. This is the climax of the play, where having started with a dying King Arthur recalling significant events in his life, the King recaptures this final battle with his enemy Mordrith, in which he was mortally wounded. The two armies are the black and white pieces on the chessboard, eliminating each other until only the principles are left. Sixty of the 120 boys in the school, aged between 15 and 16, appeared in a week of public performances, with 12 more acting as stage staff. And although the costumes and elaborate props were all made by the boys in their spare time, the production by playwright John Wiles was so lavish that it cost nearly 400 pounds to present. Turner's Court was founded 50 years ago as an experiment to help unemployed men train in farming for the colonies. But although the social pattern has since changed considerably, the school, as a voluntary society, continues to experiment. And today it provides character, vocational and social responsibility training for boys in need of special help. Yet, although acting and stage production is not part of the curriculum, the standard of the early play is remarkably high. So, on the chessboard battleground, King Arthur has slain Mordrith and been mortally wounded himself. We hope chess lovers won't mind the artistic license that's been taken with the game, but even they will have to admit it's an idea we might well borrow to fight our modern wars.